What is going on, Red Squad? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to show you how to unlock the brand new Stealth Suit Sonic skin as fast as humanly possible. But first, if you guys could do me a big favor and smack that like button, and if you guys like giveaways, tutorials, and accurate information on Sonic Speed Simulator, then hit that red subscribe button. So without wasting any more time, let me show you how to unlock this new skin in three, two, one. So this tutorial is going to be a little bit different because these little Sonic discs right here, these guys don't spawn in the exact same spot every single time. In fact, every individual disc has a random spawn location each time it happens. Sometimes they will spawn up on these platforms. Sometimes they will spawn in the highways underground. And sometimes they'll even spawn randomly on grind rails. So in this tutorial, I've done all the hard work for you. I've compiled a list of spots that these discs like to show up. Now it's not every single location because they do spawn randomly, but trust me, this will get you taken care of and it will save you hours. So let's go ahead and start things off when you first spawn into Chemical Plant. If you guys turn around right at spawn, sometimes there's two discs behind you. There's also one right there. Take a left, and on this canister is one of the spawn points. Now, once again, they don't always show up here. This is just a spot that I've seen it numerous times. Okay, make your way down this way here and slow down because sometimes there's a spawn there and then a little bit to your right, one right there. Okay, make your way to the left here and jump up on this little platform. There's one right there, and there's also one right in the middle of this little thing here too. If you jump down here on these platforms, there's two spawn points there, one there and then one there. If they're not there, jump to your right and sometimes there's one right here don't, i'm telling you they're not going to show up here every single time just these are the places to keep an eye out for okay make your way back to these little platforms here and jump up on this and sometimes there's one hanging out right here right here and right here when you're done checking those spots make your way down this way right here and then jump across here and jump up on this little platform to your right grab these rings if you feel like it and go over here and then check this out if you hit these little bouncies here, dash across here, and there's one that shows up right on top of this platform as well. Okay, when you're done checking that spot, run down this way, and now we're gonna head underground, and I'm gonna show you where some of these spots are. Another good rule of thumb here too, guys, is don't have your speed up to 100%, because you don't wanna go too fast. Okay, right behind you, there's a spawn point right there. Make your way down this way, and there's one spawn point here. There's also a spawn point to your left right there. Okay. Keep making your way down this way and I'll show you guys where another spot is. When you make it to this open area, slow down because there's a spawn point right here. There's also one that shows up in the middle of these rings as well. As you make your way further in the underground, there's actually one that spawns right here. And as you go down this platform here, there's one that spawns right behind you, right there. Okay, another thing to keep in mind, when you're running downstairs, always look to your left because around these pillars, there's three spawn points, one there, one there, and also one right there. Okay, keep making your way down this way. There's two more spawn points there and there. And if, as you can see, right before you go up this ramp, there's one more that spawns right there as well. Now this ramp is gonna take you out of the underground and back to the main level. But check this out. As you come out of here, slow down, and then turn around to right here. There's another spawn point right here. All right, we're gonna head up top now. There's a few ways you can get up there, but look for these big arrows that are basically pointing straight up. So hit this part right here, and as you can see, right in the middle of these rings, there's another spawn point you can get to. Okay, jump through this little loop tube. There's a spawn point right there. And at the very end, there's another spawn point right before you jump off this building, okay? And as you can see, there's another disc floating up there on that air conditioning unit. So jump up there and grab that. Now, there are a ton of spawn points scattered throughout the top of this map. But I would spend most of your time on the ground because, remember, you only have seven minutes. By the way, here's one more right here. Back on the ground now, you're going to run into this part right here. I promise. It's like a little dashing obby or whatever. I did it about three times until I realized there was a different way to approach this. Anyways, so if you make your way across here, do this, do this, there's the last part that's just a little too far for you to get to. So remember the arrows that I talked about earlier that take you to the upper part of the map? Check this out, because most of them are going to take you to the spot that I'm talking about. So make your way across here, hit this little dash pad here, and jump up on this thing right here. So watch this. You're back to where you started. Remember when I said there's a little disc that starts in the middle? There it is. Okay. Once again, make your way across this loop-de-loop, -loop, and then across this way. Now watch this. Instead, so go left. Instead of hitting those bouncies, fall down this crack. And watch this. And then turn around. And now you are on the back part of that obby that you couldn't pass before. And there's sometimes two, if not three, discs that spawn here. Take that impossible obby. Now collecting 100 discs is going to take some time. But I really think this is going to save you at least a couple of hours. Okay, we got one disc left. Let's really savor the moment. Here we go. And boom. Stealth Suit Sonic Unlocked. Whoo. That took some time. So hit that like button if this tutorial helped you unlock this brand new Sonic skin. And if you like Sonic Speed Simulator, hit that subscribe button because that's the kind of videos I upload. Other than that, enjoy yourselves, guys, and I will see you in the next video.